Ricky Ricotta's Mighty Robot versus the Jurassic Jackrabbits from Jupiter. Chapters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 chapters. Chapter 1, birthday. One fine morning, Ricky Ricotta woke up and looked at his calendar. It's my birthday! He shouted. Hooray! Ricky ran outside in his pajamas and woke up his mighty robot. It's my birthday! It's my birthday! Shouted Ricky. This is going to be the best day ever! First, Ricky's parents cooked peanut butter pancakes for breakfast. Then, Ricky's parents gave him a present. Wow, a new bike, said Ricky. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Ricky's mighty robot did not have a present for Ricky, but he had an idea. The mighty robot flew high into the air and spelled out a birthday message in the sky. Thank you, mighty robot, said Ricky. <clears throat> he and his mighty robot brushed their teeth and got ready to go to the museum. We are going to see real dinosaur skeletons today, said Ricky. This will be the best day ever. We have one more surprise for you, said Ricky's mother. Your cousin, Lucy, is coming with us. Oh, no! <laughs> cried Ricky. Not Lucy. She's a little pest. She doesn't mean to be a pest, said Ricky's father. She is just lonely. She has no friends of her own. Now you boys be nice to her, said Ricky's mother. Rats, said Ricky. This is going to be the worst day ever. Chapter 2, General Jackrabbit. Meanwhile, far off in the solar system, about 560 million miles to be exact, even worse things were happening on the huge orange planet called Jupiter. Jupiter was the largest planet in the solar system, and it was orange because of all the carrots. You see, Jupiter was the home of billions of carrot-loving jackrabbits. But sadly, they were all controlled by an evil ruler named General Jackrabbit. I will not be happy until I take over all the planets in the solar system, said General Jackrabbit. And I will start with Earth. General Jackrabbit and his two Robo-Rabbit helpers got into a rocket ship and blasted off toward Earth. Chapter 3, An Evil Plan. The first thing General Jackrabbit saw when he got to Earth was Ricky Ricotta's mighty robot. Hmm, said General Jackrabbit. If I want to take over Earth, I'll have to destroy that mighty robot first. Then he got an evil idea. General Jackrabbit landed his rocket ship on the roof of the museum and he sneaked inside. Chapter four, Lucy the Pest. Meanwhile, Ricky and his family were getting ready to go to the museum. Lucy had just arrived and she was already being a pest. May I have some cake and cookies? asked Lucy. Not until we get back home, said Ricky's mother. May I play with the robot? asked Lucy. Maybe later, said Ricky's father. Will you play princess with me, Ricky? asked Lucy. No way, said Ricky. Ricky, Lucy, and Ricky's parents climbed onto the mighty robot's back and off they flew to the museum. 
How much longer till we get there? Asked Lucy. Soon, said Ricky's father. I have to go potty, said Lucy. You just went, said Ricky's mother. Can we go ice skating instead of going to the museum? Asked Lucy. You can, said Ricky, smiling. We'll drop you off. Ricky's mighty robot giggled. Boys, said Ricky's mother, be nice. Chapter five, Museum Mishap. When everyone got to the museum, they noticed that something was not right. The triceratops looked strange. The pterodactyl was missing something and the Tyrannosaurus Rex was all wrong. The dinosaurs have lost their heads, cried Lucy. Don't worry, said Ricky, we'll find them. Ricky climbed into his mighty robot's hand and the two friends flew off to look for lost dinosaur heads. Ricky and his robot looked all around the museum, but they did not think to look on top of the museum. Chapter six, send in the clones. Back on the roof of the museum, General Jackrabbit was doing an evil experiment inside his rocket ship. He took the cells from his three stolen dinosaur skulls and put them into his cloning machine. But the dinosaurs were not complete. General Jackrabbit needed more cells. Where could he get them? I know, said General Jackrabbit. I will add my own cells to the dinosaur cells to make them complete. He clipped some hairs from his fluffy bunny tail and added them to the dinosaur cells. Suddenly, the cloning machine began to work. In a few minutes, three strange looking eggs rolled out of the cloning machine. Success at last, shouted General Jackrabbit. Soon, the eggs began to hatch. <clears throat> Out came a rabidactyl, a triheratops, and a bunny saurus rex. Perfect, said General Jackrabbit. He carried his Jurassic Jackrabbits up to the nose of his rocket ship and tossed them out. Z then he zapped them with his meanie machine. Zap! Zap! Spring! Thunk! Ha ha ha! You're big. You're evil. You're perfect! Now hear me, my hideous hairs. Destroy the city! Well, what are you waiting for? Hop to it! Swish, boing, bang, crash, crunch, smash! Meanwhile, hmm, I don't see those dinosaur heads anywhere. Swoosh, maybe they're down here. Shoot! Hey, I've got an idea. Let's use placement heads. But then, Oh no! Dino bunnies are attacking the city! Go get a mighty robot! Hey, there he is! Attack the mighty robot! Roar! Whoosh! Clonk! Bonk! Clank! The Jurassic Jackrabbit's heads were stuck. Pow! Shift! Bam! Crack! Crunch! Sproin! Sproin! Sproin? Smash! Chapter seven, Jurassic Jack Attack. The three Jurassic Jackrabbits pulled the broken heads off their shoulders. They were very dizzy. Don't just sit there, cried General Jackrabbit. Destroy that mighty robot! The big, bad bunnies had some terrible tricks in store for Ricky's robot, like the cotton-tailed creature crasher and an unpleasant pile of prehistoric power punches. But Ricky's robot had some tricks of his own. First came the electro reflecto ejector projector. Then came the telescopic two-tone permal pressure. 
the Jurassic jackrabbits moaned and groaned. Get back out there and fight, you dino dummies, cried General Jackrabbit, or I'll give you something to moan and groan about. Chapter 8, The Big Battle in Flipporama. Hey, kids, you can animate the action by following these easy steps. Step 1, step 2, step 3, Flipporama 1. The Jurassic Jackrabbits attacked. Clink, 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 <laughs> clink, 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 clink. Flipperama too. Ricky's robot fought back. Bonk, 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 bonk. Flipperama three. The Jurassic Jackrabbits battle hard. Ow, boo, boo, boo. Flipporama four. Ricky's robot battled harder. Flipporama five. Ricky's robot won the war. Ooching a dance, dance. Chapter nine, the Mimi Machini. The Jurassic Jackrabbits had been defeated, but General Jackrabbit was not worried. He just zapped the Jurassic Jackrabbits with another blast from his Mimi Machini. The Jurassic Jackrabbits grew even bigger than before and much, much meaner. The Jurassic Jackrabbits grabbed Ricky's mighty robot in their terrible paws and began laughing and growling. I've got to save my robot, cried Ricky. He climbed onto the roof of the museum and rang the doorbell on the rocket ship. Ding dong! The two Robo Rabbits opened the door. Ding dong. No mice allowed, said the Robo Rabbits. Jack rabbits only. Then they slammed the door on Ricky's face. Jack rabbits only, hey? Said Ricky. Then he got an idea. I will need everybody's help today, said Ricky, especially Lucy's. Ricky's family climbed onto the roof of the museum. Then Ricky's mother opened her purse. She took out two sticks of gum, a pair of white wool mittens, and an old white scarf. Quickly, Ricky's family began dressing up Lucy. The gum made great bunny teeth, and the scarf made excellent bunny ears. Ricky sewed the mittens together to make a fluffy bunny tail. The last thing we need, said Ricky, is Dad's sweater. Finally, Lucy climbed onto Ricky's shoulders. Now be careful, you two, said Ricky's father. Don't worry, said Ricky. The good guys always win. Chapter 10, Ricky and Lucy to the rescue. Ricky and Lucy went to the rocket ship and rang the doorbell again. Ding dong! When the Robo Rabbits opened the door this time, they saw a beautiful girl rabbit. I'm in love, said the first Robo Rabbit. Ooh la la, said the second <laughs> Robo Rabbit. Hubba hubba, they took Lucy and Ricky into the rocket ship and sat them down at a big table. I'm hungry said Lucy. May I have some cake and pie and cookies and muffins and cupcakes and bagels and waffles and donuts? Yes, 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 said the Robo Rabbits, and they ran off to start baking. Now this is my chance to look around, said Ricky. He crawled out from under the table and sneaked upstairs. Chapter 11, Upstairs. Upstairs? Ricky saw General Jackrabbit with his horrible meanie machine. Now, Jurassic Jackrabbits, I want you to destroy that mighty rock. 
General Jackrabbit stopped suddenly and <laughs> sniffed the air. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Hey, shouted General Jackrabbit. Somebody's baking carrot pie. What are those silly robo-rabbits up to now? General Jackrabbit marched downstairs to see what the problem was. As soon as he was gone, Ricky ran to the meanie machine and studied the complex controls. Ricky turned the dial from big, ugly, and evil all the way over to little, cute, and sweet. Then he pointed the meanie machine at the Jurassic Jackrabbit. Chapter 12, Zap! Downstairs, General Jackrabbit was yelling at his robo-rabbits when he heard a loud zap. What's going on up there? He cried. General Jackrabbit dashed upstairs. He saw Ricky zapping the Jurassic Jackrabbits. The three creatures got littler, cuter, and sweeter with each zap. I'll get you for this screamed General Jackrabbit. He grabbed Ricky by the arm and would not let go. Suddenly, Lucy appeared at the top of the stairs with a fresh carrot pie. You him, sang Lucy. General Jackrabbit turned around and simple it! Chapter 13, The Day is Saved. Ricky's mighty robot jumped up to the rocket ship to rescue Ricky and Lucy. Now we've got to make things right again, said Ricky. First, Ricky's robot put the dinosaur skulls back where they belonged, sort of. Then Ricky's robot carefully closed the rocket ship. With one mighty toss, the robot sent the ship sailing safely back to Jupiter. Bye-bye, Robo-Rabbits, cried Lucy. Finally, it was off to jail for General Jackrabbit. This has been the worst day ever, cried General Jackrabbit. Chapter 14, Friends. Soon, Ricky and his family got home. It was time for pizza and birthday cake. I sure love these cute little Jurassic Jackrabbits, said Lucy. Then you should keep them, said Ricky. Now you'll have friend, little friends of your own. Really? asked Lucy. Are you sure you don't want them? I don't need them, said Ricky. I already have the biggest friend in town. Finally, Ricky blew out the candles of his cake. You know, said Ricky, this really was the best day ever. Thank you for being so brave today, said Ricky's parents. And thank you for sharing, said Lucy. No problem, said Ricky. That's what friends are for.